Hello everyone, my name is Senator Computer Man and welcome back to another episode of The Gallery. Um, gotta apologize, um, there is one thing I have to say, and that is, I am playing this after beating the game. You're probably wondering, why am I playing it again? Well, as you guys saw in the first episode, uh, audio didn't really record. Now, I was debating whether or not to record the game again, but I decided that I'm just gonna do it because, turns out the last episode did record with sound, thankfully. So, really, I just have to record this middle episode, and then we'll be good. So, without further ado, we're just gonna hop back into VR, and play this game, and it, if I did everything right, which I'm pretty sure I did, everything should be going as, as it was before. So, um, yeah. Um, so if you recall, we were back here, and we were about to look into here, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. All right. So, you guys can't, you couldn't hear in the first episode, but here you go. So yeah, that was our sister, and um, yeah, that was our sister. So I already did beat this, so I already know what's going to be well, happening. Oh well, well, you're one of them, aren't ya? A spook! Uh huh, yeah, I know you chop eventually. You know what's good for you. You'll go back and tell them you ain't found nothing. The chest is down. It's a very small How man. did you? Ah, uh, Pete, you lousy drunk! Who's Pete? Was that Pete? I still don't know even if I beat the game. Alright, yeah, okay. Alright, checkpoint now. Now I'm pretty sure you guys can't see this, but like right here in the loading saving checkpoint thing, there's like stars and the moon and clouds and everything. We're like in the middle of nowhere. It's actually very calming, very soothing. It's very pretty, very oh, I like the colors, the blue and the white and the black here. The gray. Oof. I love VR. It's amazing. It's amazing. I really do love it. Alright, so we're in the sewer. No supposed way out. So yeah. Now it's time to you know, I hear you out there. go around the sewer. I told you to stay out! I'm blowing this place sky high, you fascist! You know, he just shot flares at us. Oh, jeez, Alex! Is that you? Yeah! I'm sorry. I thought you were a spook. No, no spook here. The explosives? Damn it! Get to the lab! You'll figure it out! Sure I will, okay. What just happened? Okay. Uh, so let's go down here then. Sorry if it's a little bit darker than... What I am seeing, I'm not really sure. Oh, here we go. I already listened to all these, so I'm just playing it for you guys. Uh, so I found the professor. Seems nice. He saw my hex, and now he really wants to show me something. And for some reason, I'm going to follow this strange man into an abandoned sewer. I cannot be blamed for this reckless behavior. I am the obvious byproduct of neglectful parenting. So, just do what the walls tell you, and you'll find us, hopefully. Oh god, what is that? Come on! This is not the glamorous adventure I had in mind. Feels like I'm in a shit Nancy Drew mystery. Ugh. All right, well, 
that was that. Okay, I hit a couple things, but that's fine. Basically, we need to navigate through the sewers, and she said, if we listen to the walls, we'll be fine. And that is true. We just have to listen to the walls. Um, let's go right here. Alright, so this way, let me just turn myself so I can face the camera at the same time because that is an issue that I do have. <laughs> like, I get turned around a lot. Alright, so we have some, I don't know, like some symbols. There's actually an alphabet here. I'm pretty sure in the like future there's some alien writing. You could probably like figure that out if you wanted to. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw it too well, but you know it is what it is. All right, now we gotta get up here. Uh, what do the walls tell us? The walls tell us to go straight. Um, huh? What does it say here? Well, that's a dead end. So let's just move back here. Was telling us to go this way, but there's a dead end over there. So I'm thinking we have to go through this way. All right. Okay. So not gonna spoil anything, but this is something that is in the future for all of you to behold. All right. Where's the next? Where's the next thing? Let me see here. Uh, let me just turn myself around. There's actually no more symbols. I'm just gonna... It's telling me to go through there. All dead ends. Okay, I see an arrow over here. So actually I need to turn myself. Am I not facing the right way? Okay, well I found an area. That may or may not be helpful. Alright, I'm supposed to be standing this way, so. Alright, whatever. You did it, alright. Let's get the tape recorder out, let's play this next tape. That's when we found the entrance to a large structure just off the beach, which seems like an old sister project. For some reason, construction just stopped dead, and then they sealed off the entire branch of the spillway. We found some work orders complaining about constant machine failure for no apparent reason. Something sniffles fish. It's time to start digging. Alright. So that was that. Let me give the flashlight back. Oh, drop supplies here. Huh. Never noticed that. Alright. Alright, so we can just follow the walls here. So that's just where we were. So, here it is. Alright. What is wrong with the system, man? Awesome, all right, let's get in here. Now, I'm not gonna stop to investigate too much because I already know everything. But uh, here's a little thing. I never noticed those symbols. That's weird. Okay. And we got a checkpoint again, awesome. Now, the, the the last episode does start at a certain time, and that is where this episode will end. Um, it may be super long, but I could probably edit it to be not too bad. Okay, so let's see what this guy has to say, this lunatic dude. Nope. Where? So, oh, come on. Oh, kitten kaboom! Yeah, 
another 12 seconds and this whole place would have been a pile of rubble. Oh, well, good thing you're such a genius and you didn't let that happen. I wasn't just gonna... What I've discovered is so powerful. They can't get their hands on it. The beacon. And it's what drew you both here. And it took your sister. It's dangerous, Alex. Too dangerous. I have to bury it. I told myself I'd wait a few hours for her to come back before... Well... That was five days ago. You're half of the hex. Did you bring it? <sighs> of course you did. We should get you down to the beacon. Forget what I said. It's totally safe. Yeah, Take I'm gonna play this. It all makes sense. The professor said that the beacon emits a powerful magnet. Need a few 9 amp fuses for that panel. Remember, Mrs. Robert? Everything that wasn't bolted down was torn apart. Shut up. You can thank your sister for that. Actually, you probably didn't listen. Hey, Alex, catch! We are the pigeons. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good job. Gentle now. Good. Mean more power. Oh man, I missed that one. You are not making this easy. He just threw a camera at me though, that's the thing. One more to grade on! Track actuators are a go! We're getting there! Hurry up! Come on, man! Oh dang, that was far behind me. Oh, uh, don't be such a spaz! What? You threw that up? I hate you. Alright, I really hit you, actually. I like a lot. If he throws it over there, I'm gonna be so mad. There we go. Hey. Bravo! Oh, Good catch! Regular Jesse Barfield. Sweet! Alright. Let's do this thing. It's been three years, and I still don't know where the beacon came from, or what it's capable of. I told Elsie to keep her hex away from it. It seemed obvious that there'd be some sort of reaction. Well, I was right. First night, that dang girl snuck down into the lab while I was sleeping. The first night! Well, that's anybody in the right mind would do, kid, so. I got my own ride. Come on, let's make a move. We gotta get going! So I figured out that your hands aren't actually your controllers. The, the place where your hands are on the controllers. Like, if they were to be open on the controllers like this, like this, then that's where your hands would be. But, you know, you're always making a fist, so when you do make a fist, that actually is where it is on the controller, and obviously you can't touch because of the fact that it's a... Uh, it was know, my mistake. Gets in the way. Never tell someone like your sister not to do something, because guess what they'll do the second your back's turned? Somehow, she opened the beacon's cage and triggered a goddamn explosion of magnetic energy. Busted up everything and damn near tore open my metal hell. And that's where we're going now! Because why not, right guys? After making sure my legs were still attached to my body, I repelled down to the I couldn't get anywhere near the beacon. It surrounded itself with an intense magnetic field. I can only assume that Elsie somehow opened the beacon's cage. It was loose, just floating there in the middle of the lab. With a hell of a time roping that damn thing back in its home. I also like... Elsie, Whoa. she was done. <laughs> I also I like how there's a glare too. from the lights. Heads up. <laughs> like, it's not too strong that it's annoying, but it's Due just enough that it's hip. realistic. I can't get close enough to the beacon. We're gonna try to reproduce what Elsie did down there. Maybe it'll give us some answers. We don't have any spelling. Oh, Hold God. on a sec. I'll call the elevator up. Let me just see. Let's get it. The magnetic bursts are in oh, random. Damn it! The blast ripped apart the elevator system's control box. Of course it did. Why not? You'll need to throw it back together. But first we gotta get it a charge. Damn it, hold on! Time to 
Just letting you guys hear this. Alright, awesome. Now, guide the water wheel into place to get a current flow. Yeah, we have this going to be. This is going to make more sense why I'm grabbing this stuff. I mean, well, it is in blue, so I guess you guys should know that it is important. Uh, here's a note thing. You guys can read that if you want. I don't really care. Oh. Okay. There's another note, or not note, but tape for you guys. All right, so you heard that. She's that's probably her leading up to what she does. There we go. That's how you do it. to install a new step-down fuse after the last one blew. Oh, that one's my goof. Makes more sense now where I grab these pieces, right? Down there, though. Swap out the fried parts. There, there we go. Dang, God. Didn't know if that old ionoscope was going to a gasket or not. There it is. Those damn skin will work. Oh, yeah. I thought I had a spare regulator. That attaches next to the pinion. The 86 circuit. Where's the start? Yeah. <laughs> Throw that on the chamber cup. I'll I did call it. up the elevator. Awesome. Also, I didn't show you guys this, but um, let's do game quest. Oh, what happened? Ah, oh, man, it's fine. This is exactly what happens after you leave and blow well, after you get on the elevator. See, this is the elevator. You literally do not miss anything. We are just getting to the next spot. Like this whole area right there. When that lowering thing is a loading screen anyways. It's fine. Alex, can you hear me? Check, check. Good stuff. Okay. Now, you'll have to open the cage that holds the beacon. We gotta kill that magnetic shield. Alright, so... That's it for this episode, guys. Um, the next episode, you will get the whole ending, so make sure to stick around for that. And uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Call of the Star Seed. And next episode is the last episode, I am pretty sure. So thank you guys, and have a good one.